Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to our live chat. I hope everybody's having a great Monday. I know you've had some fun with Renee, and so I'm going to take you through the afternoon. And so we are going to talk about Luminous, what we have to offer, and all the funness, all the funness. So um, yesterday, or my, last week, whenever that was, last week we did talk about um, um, color correctors. And, you know, I always tell you guys to let me know things that you want to see. And that way we can show you. So we are definitely going to talk about color correctors. They just came in here, uh, got to me. So I was like, oh yeah, we have to discuss this. So we're going to go over that in detail as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hang out with me for a while. Um, but every time we do our live chats, we love to go over everything like the starter kit, what you receive. And right now I'm going to put the times. Oh my gosh. Goodness. Hey, Candy. Hey, Jeannie. How are you guys doing? Hello. Hello. Brushes. Okay. We can kind of talk about that as well. Uh, Candy, um, maybe next hour when we talk, um, about, we'll do some color cosmetics and so we can talk about brushes as well. So most certainly. I'm going to put down the times that we are live. We are live each and every day, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m. So Monday through Thursday, we're live at 8, 10, 12, 2, and 4. And then on Fridays, it's going to be 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. And so make sure you do join us if you are able to on those times. All right. So in your starter kit, if you have received your kit, Maybe you're waiting on it. This is what it looks like. And that is our icon. You might have the icon. You might have the icon pro. Um, that is, they're both the same. And even if you have the legend, it might look a little different, but how you put it on is the same. And so that um, it comes with makeup and it does come with two bottles of foundation and it comes with a love and blush. Now, two bottles of foundation so you can mix and match throughout the year and have that perfect color match, that perfect shade all year round. And then the two bottles are also for you to practice. So whichever color is not your shade at, the, at that time, you can use it to practice with. And then the love and the blush do come in smaller um, bottles. However, you know that our blush is super high pigmented, so you're only using drops at a time. And then love, it's my might not be something you use every day. And again, you're using drops at a time. So remember with airbrush, you're using 10 times less makeup. And so you are going to be using less and less. Um, all right. So hello, Sharon. How are you? Oh, yay. We're so excited that you are joining us. All right, so if you are new to Luminous, these are the four things that we want you to do. The first thing is get it out of the box. That's going to be your scariest thing. That's going to be the biggest step you're going to do. Because once you get it out of the box, you'll understand how easy it is. And so when you start, as soon as you turn it on, because it already comes put together. The hose is already attached to your compressor, attached to your stylus. This is where the air comes out of. You're going to put makeup in here. It comes out this way but nothing is being released until you pull back on this trigger. So when you first get it, turn it on and just feel it around your face, feel that air. And remember that wherever the air is, is where the makeup's going. I'm going to use this to pull my hair back right now. And so um, you'll know and just get used to it. This will become second nature. You don't even have to think about it, but Practice, 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 practice. Practice makes perfect. So make sure you are practicing. We also want you to keep it about four finger widths away. Keep the stylus moving and barely pull back on the trigger. Remember that this is not traditional makeup. So we do want you to pull back super, super light on the trigger. And it's going to, it's going to, it's not going to go on like traditional makeup. So you're not actually going to see it go on. It goes on so lightly. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. So, hey, Michelle, how are you? Hello. Welcome. Hey, Amber. Welcome. 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 Thank you. I had to say, I like this background too, actually. Um, all right. So now let's go in and talk color correctors. My face is actually already prepped. Um, I already have my lotion 
um, I use the PM ignition lotion and then I have all my color correctors. So I have the green, you can even see the wrapping is still on them. I have the green, the yellow, the purple and the peach. The peach is one that I use a lot. Um, and I find that it's sometimes the easiest one to use, but let's go over what they're for and why, um, you would want them or why you would want to utilize them. The best thing that I can tell you to look at to determine whether or not you need a color corrector is a color chart. And so I am going to pull up a color chart and we're gonna look at that real quick. Here we go. All right, so here is my color chart. Now know that whatever, you can look at it either way. So if I have the yellow one right here, I'm just gonna, <laughs> right here, across from the yellow is purple or the blue. Now think about if you had maybe a bruise or a um, broken capillaries that are purple. Sometimes we have purple uh, circles under our eyes um, that have that purple hue. That is when you would want to use the yellow color corrector. Make sense? Because those are the ones that are going to be opposite from each other are the ones that cancel each other out, right? So if I'm looking at the peach color corrector and you can kind of look at the two, there's next to the yellow, there's two that are kind of a peachy color and that's going to be more of the blue or the, um, if you have like veins and, um, and things like that, that is going to help, um, bruises like sunspots, more of that Brown will also be for the peach. Now, the purple, if I'm looking at the purple on the color wheel, across from that is the yellow. So if you have yellow undertones and need to brighten up your skin, then the purple one is going to be perfect for you. And then the green, across from the green is the red. And that's if you have any redness in your skin um, and you need to cover that, then green is going to be what you will want. Now. You might say, well, Heather, I have a couple of those, a couple, of, a couple of different colors. And if that's the case, pick the one that you most want to hide and use that. I have redness, but I love that peach to brighten underneath my eyes to cover my sunspots and things like that. So I use the peach more than the green to cover up my redness, okay? But for this case, I'm going to use the green um, so we can look at that. All right. So I'm using my green and you might look at that and go, well, I don't wanna look like the Wicked Witch of the West and we don't want you to either. So what you can do to make this easier and that's why I say peach is sometimes a little bit easier because it is more of um, you know, that fleshy color. Um, and I don't have to add anything to the peach, but the green, you could add a drop of your foundation. Um, I'm going to put it on the wrong way so you can see the difference. And we'll go from there. So I'm just going to grab my stylus, turn it on. Make sure my chair's not on the hose because that will happen. So I'm going to grab this too. I have one of the long hoses since it's um, easier to do the makeup over here. All right, so now I have my green color corrector in here. Now when I'm spraying this, I don't want to look green. So it goes back to looking very, or spraying very light. This is not, again, traditional makeup. So if I put this on, like that to cover that redness, that's not right. One, it's way too much coverage. We don't need that because also remember that every step that we do is giving us coverage, whether it's a color corrector, whether it's a, a blush, whether whatever the case may be, it gives us some coverage. Now, I don't have to do this 100% as far as my coverage, but it's starting my coverage. It's giving me that step up 
in coverage. Ah, it's Sharon's first time to see the color correctors. Yay. All right. So I'm going to shake this up again. Then I'm going, you know what I just thought of? It's a green, we have a green screen, so I'm hoping it's not going to wash that out. So I have the green color corrector in here. And now I'm going to take my silk four in one foundation and put a drop in here. What this will do is when, especially when you first start out, it will help it it'll help you be able to put this on a little bit easier and not have to worry so much about the green color. That might've been too much, but turn it on, mix that together. So those colors are mixed and now I can put on the green color corrector. So I, I'm sure you can tell I have redness all here. So I'm going to go in and start my coverage. Now, just like when I do my foundation, I do like to go in and just make one complete pass. Remember, because this is not traditional makeup, I'm not going to stay here and cover it until I get the coverage that I want. I make one pass. And I don't know if you can tell, but that's all right. This is already a step up. Okay, and with this, I only have to concentrate on that redness. Just like that. Okay, can y'all see the difference? Yay, nay. Now I'm going to take, um, where is it? It's going to take my concealer, but... Where is it? Oh, maybe I have it in here. Um, I have to remember where I'm at to do this. <laughs> Which one I'm supposed to be doing. Hold on. Let me, is this it? No, those are shimmers. Can I hear my chair squeaking? Let's do X out. Do I have X out? Yeah, I have X out. We haven't done the X out. So I just did my green color corrector. Now I'm shaking up X out and that we, you know, I talk about it all the time, but I have dark, my eyelids are darker. So I'm using X out for eyelids and underneath. So I put my drops right in there, turn my system on and start spraying. I can spray a little bit on my lid, super light. Now under my eyes and blend it right on top of that green color corrector. Now, if you're first starting out and you're like, wait, I don't have the green color corrector. I don't have X out. I don't have it. Don't worry about that. Just get the foundation down. We give you enough um, makeup to do a perfect flawless look. Our foundations can get you to full coverage. Remember your coverage is based on the number of passes that you do. And so if you need to, um, you know, make a couple more passes in certain areas, then you can do that. Um, and then, I mean, my big thing is, especially if you're new, I would say get the foundation down and get it where this is um, ha um, like comes very naturally to you. It's second nature to you. And then we'll start talking about maybe some some uh, pre coverage that you would want. Um, I just want you to be able to get because it doesn't matter what you put in here; those steps are the same. So if you can get those down and get the get it nailed down, then anything that we put on will go on perfectly. We just need to find what's going to be that look that you want to create. All right. So there we go. There is the CC um concealer or not cc sorry um x out in medium now i'm going to put my foundation but because i already have a lot of coverage right so now i'm going to use the foundation just to even everything out so now i can go in and start making one pass
and go in here, let it down my neck. A little bit on my chin. And then that's all I need. I have great coverage without having to do any more makeup. I'm not necessarily layering it on because I did get most of my coverage. I just blended that out and now I'm good to go. Make sense? All right. So now let's, I always, when I do the noon, I always like to do a um, kind of a natural look, something to, you know, maybe because we always go to like the extreme of uh, what we what we do. Uh, sometimes we're like hairdressers <laughs> because we're like, we want to push the envelope a little bit. So I always like to go in and do a neutral look, a natural look where you can do it really quick and not have to really think about it a, a lot. Um, where if you're half asleep or maybe you're, um, you know, running late, you could do it with your eyes closed, basically. Um, let's see what did what, um, Sharon, I agree. I've had mine for about it four years. Yay, Sharon. All right. So I'm going to use this cut one palette and I'm going to use it for some contouring and blush and I'm going to use it for my eyes. So I, when I go in and I'm going to use this, I'm going to take a blending brush, which is a tapered um, blending brush. When you use this, you put it right here, right on the top. So when I go in, boop, boop, that's how I put it on. I hit the extra off. And then when I go in, I, I'm going to my eye straight on. And where that first touch that you touch your eye or your cheek if you're doing blush or contour, whatever, is where most of the makeup is going to go. So I want most of my makeup out here, and then I can blend it in. And again, this is just the Cut One Contour Palette. All right. And that's it. I mean, I would be totally fine with this because I did the X out on my lid. So it gave me some color. It evened out my eye. So I have a natural highlight here on my brow bone and here. Now, if you wanted to go in with the highlight section, and that bottom one is a shimmer, you can do that. So if I wanted to add just a little bit of shimmer, I can do that super easy, all right? And then make, oh my gosh, this stool is driving me crazy. It's like squeaking. All right, so now, seems like I say all right a lot. I'm gonna try to work on that. All right, I'm just kidding. Um, now I'm going to, use all of them. I do this. Hit the extra off. Ooh, I learned another trick. Hold on. I'm going to put my thumb in the contour. I'm going to go right here. Oh, it's hard to do this. <laughs> the opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> Let me do this thumb here. In here. Okay. I have to use another brush since I did get that one. Use this one. All right. So I'm going to use just kind of a blending brush and I'm going in and I'm going to blend that in circular motions like we would if we were airbrushing to contour. <laughs> you can bring it forward. So I just put two thumbprints boop, boop, uh, right next to each other and started blending that out. I like a little more, so I'm going to go in and contour a little bit more. And then I'm also going to use it as a blush. I'm bringing it up a little bit more. 
And then definitely my chin. Okay. Rock bar. Now, another little trick I'm going to use. I have to clean this brush. It's a flat eyeshadow brush with a rounded, so it's very flat, but this is rounded. And I'm gonna use my water bottle since I don't have water. And I'm gonna wet the brush. And now I'm going in and with the darker contour shade, I put that in there and now I'm going to line right at my lash line. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Right there. Just smudging that. And creating a little more natural oomph. <laughs> you know my oomph word that I love. Okay, so it just deepens the shadow just a little bit. But since I'm using powder, um, but I wet the brush, it's, it gives it a little more oomph. It's the best word I can describe it. Um, but not too, too much because I still used a very natural color. Make sense? I think I'm going to do it underneath as well. To line the eyes. And all of that is done with that cut one palette. Now I can also, if I want to highlight underneath the eyes, I can go in and do a little bit of highlighting with the flat white. If I feel like I need a little bit more um, brightness underneath my eyes, but then I always go back in and layer, kind of blend that um, contour up so you don't have too much of a, a demarcation or a section like that. What do you think? What do you guys think? Makes sense so far? All right. Now let's go in. I think I'm going to put on... There's this one. That one's naked. This one is pounding peony. I always feel like I need a um, a uh, bright color for the summer. There we go. Because I feel like we need some brightness. So I would finish with curling my lashes and putting mascara on. And then this is Pouting Peony. So it gives it a little bit of color, but not too much. Right there. Now, let's say you put something on and you're like, oh, I don't know about this color. Is it too bright for what I'm wearing? You can always change things to, to adapt it to what you want. So I don't have to take this color off. If I wanted a darker color, I could put a, a um, nude lipstick on top. I could do Prosecco on top. I can do, you can do so many different things to change the color just a little bit if I needed to deepen it. So if I wanted to deepen it a little bit or make it not as bright, but I really like it. If I changing just a little bit or, oh, you know, I should, well, I've been obsessed with that blush, 
but I'll do Prosecco. Prosecco is a lip finisher that has a shimmer. And see how that will deepen it? I don't know deepen it is, but not make it as like bright pink. If I wanted to tone it down a little, um, since everything else is so natural. So like if you, my, <laughs> my thing would be like, when you're done with your makeup, do this and see what draws your attention. See what's the first thing you can, you see. Does it need to be toned down or is it looking perfect just because, hey, I wanted my eyes to stand out. And that's the first thing that you look at. So you can always do your Zoolander turn and do that and see what you're gonna, what, what your eye is drawn to. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you back here. I'm going to be back here at two and at four. We're going to have fun today on this Monday. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.